This is definitely the most random site today. Yeah. And looking at the size of them, I'm guessing it was a lady boy. I just guessing. Twenty seconds in Thailand, Thailand Rob. Can you stay in Thailand? Can you stay in Phuket for one thousand dollars a month? One thousand US dollars a month. Well let's take a look. Every day this car is parked here. It's just parked here. Kind of cool though. So I'm always getting the question, Rob, can you, how much does it cost to stay in Thailand? Oh my gosh. Do you want to live like the Prince of Bel Air or do you want to live like Thailand, Rob? <laughs> As you can see on the Patreon account, this is how much I get sort of on average for the past few months. This has been about the average. On YouTube, if you go to Social Blade, you can see this range. It's, it's never at the high end. I don't even know where they come up with that number. Let's just say it's a few hundred bucks that's coming in extra. So I'm almost always around sort of close to maybe $1,000 a month. I've been in Phuket, Kamala Beach for over a year now. Phuket is the most expensive place you can live in Thailand. And I'm not boasting about that. I'm saying that it is the most expensive. If I was to travel up to Udon Thani, somewhere up north, $1,000 would go a whole lot further. So let me just look at what like an average day would be like. Okay, sorry, wake up. I wake up and I decide to make my coffee at home, which I do. After you put the sugar, the cream and everything in, it's not gonna be as expensive as 7-Eleven. Let's just say you went to 7-Eleven and got your 14 baht coffee. Come here, uh, it's time to wake up. So 14, 14, 14 baht coffee. And then let's just say I just wanted a bowl of cornflakes. A real simple little breakfast. Very cheap and inexpensive in a bowl. Milk. Milk. Let's go for 24.50. Okay, so let's say I want to start the morning off with some cornflakes or frosted flakes or whatever. Okay, 10 baht plus the milk. So, got my coffee. I got my, my breakfast. My breakfast corn. Corn chips. My, my corn chips and my bowl of cereal. My bowl of cereal and my coffee. So, I'm good to go on that. And let's just say I did the juice for the fancy juice for 20 baht. Oh, wow. Well, that's really good. It's more like the American orange juice instead of the um, Thailand orange juice. Mmm, that's my breakfast cost. Let's just say I did the tuna, the tuna snack for lunch. Ah, oh, snack on the go. Ah, 32 baht. That'd be different. I should try that one day. But I don't. I actually usually like to do a ham sandwich, which is the 50 baht for the ham and the, what was it, 22 baht, 17 baht for the, the, you know, the bread. I always get a pack of ham, four slices in this one. Where's the bread? Uh, oh, here, cheapest one. Oh, no, no. oh, 17. Bingo. Ding, ding, ding. No, that's not 17. That's a lie. Is it? It's more. It's 22. 33 for the big one. 17 for the small one. There is no small one here. Mm. And a Coca-Cola. Can. 14. 17. Bottle. 25. Big one. Well, these are my favorite. Let's just say a bag of chips thrown in. And let's say you want to grab a bag of chips. That's another 20 baht. These are the bigger bags. We can actually find smaller. Now, mind you, for dinner, we can do all of this stuff. If you were to go to a soup stand, that's 30 baht. 30 to 50 baht, depending on what you get. That's on the street vendor road prices. If I buy the spaghetti. Oh, this and of course that's usually not enough to keep me going the whole night but if i did what was it what is it it's uh this now if you were to go out to a restaurant and actually get a decent proper meal that's going to be about a hundred i'm just going to say without drinking anything about 180 baht so i'm going to average the street food 30 baht soup 
and I'm gonna average the 180 baht meal at a restaurant and kind of put that as an average dinner cost. So that's my food cost for the day. Your daily water or Gatorade. Daily, daily you're gonna need a bottle of water. Something about this size is what I recommend. That's 20 baht. Wait a minute, that's not 20 baht. It's supposed to be 14 baht. Where am I? Let's just say 14 baht. It's not supposed to be 20 baht. That's different water. Okay, 13 baht. This is something fancy. Montreal. And if you're sweating and want a Gatorade, they have three kinds now. This is new. They put the blue, the, uh, the original, and the purple in. This is all within the last month. Back to Phuket being the most expensive place. You have to have a motorbike if you live in this area or a car. So let's just go the cheapest route and say that you have rented a motorbike for a month. And I'm gonna go with a random number because it could be anywhere from 3,000 to whatever. So let's just say you're paying 4,000 a month, 4,000 baht a month for your motorbike. So we got that. Now let's say you find a studio apartment. Like I originally have a studio apartment. Let's just say it's 7,000 baht. That's with 7,000 baht with aircon and hot water for the shower. You can get a little bit cheaper if you don't go with aircon, and if you don't go with hot water, you can get it down to probably 5,500 baht. And you can spend anything. Squirrel. You can spend anything through the roof depending on your budget. So 7,000 for the house, and then probably your, if you run the AC in your studio apartment every day, like I used to do I don't do it now because I have a nice fan let's just say your electricity bill would be 1,000 baht it's probably going to be a little bit more than that actually this is, let's just round it up to 1300 baht this was this is my basic structure on how much it cost me to live in Thailand this is not including any activities going out hanging out with friends going to the bar going shopping nothing and yes when it comes to the nightlife scene, if you're talking anything about going out and finding girls, uh, professional girls and stuff, I'm not even, there's no budget for that because that could be anywhere through the roof. And there's many other channels that talk about how much the girls cost and all that other stuff. I'm just talking about living in Thailand. I'm not talking about going out with the girls and stuff. Because yeah, the old saying is no money, no honey. Yeah. So if you sit at home and you have a four pack of beer, let's say Leo or, or these. And let's say you just want a four pack of Leo. A four pack of Leo would be 151. So if you're only gonna have four beers a day, there, there you go. If you want a big three pack bottle, that's 164. And let's just say, uh, what else have we got? I don't know. Oh, Heineken. Well, that's two, two cans of Heineken are 118. A four, a four pack of Heineken is 164. So I'm going to average in the four beers at home, the four pack of Leo, or four beers out at a, a bar or a restaurant. And literally, this is a skimpy, skimpy budget that I'm putting down. And maybe you want some cashews. Let's say you want to snack on some cashews. So add that into your budget there. Now, of course, if you're over here on holiday, you go out all the time and you spend all the money on the tours, the packages, the bars, the 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 scene the nightlife the bangla roads the everything i'm not even including that what it, i'm talking about what it cost me to live here not what it cost anyone to just go out and party that's what I'm, that's what i'm trying to get across oh hey don't forget the visa runs i'm just gonna throw a random number in for that so in the calculation down here you can see this is about how much it costs to live in thailand and so yeah you you can live on <laughs> so yeah you can live on a thousand dollars a month uh, yeah a thousand us dollars a month is it going to be fun wild and crazy and you're going to go scuba diving and jet say jets uh jet skiing partying on bangla road mm, no i have one pair of flip-flops i have a tea kettle i do have a microwave which you don't even need over here but i have a microwave i have a tea kettle um and a toaster and a, yeah so I don't have a lot of stuff. So you can live over here very <coughs> minimalist. And so you'd have to really ask yourself, is that living? It's living in Thailand, but is it your style of living? I'm serious. 
that is a shoestring budget and that's what i'm talking about because whenever you guys ask me can you live on a thousand dollars yeah is that the way you want to live i've made it happen i am in i'm fine but i own one pair of flip-flops minimalist hope you love this video please give it a thumbs up why because it means you like it and i can read the thumbs up comments Woo. By the way, I love to meet you guys when you come to Kamala, so hey. <laughs> what? She gets up and walks away. This is the one that got up and walked away. What's her name? Sam. What? <laughs> Can you take this asshole back to America, please? Oh. Pretty goodie. Don't forget that.